Baby, Starbucks tried me all the way today when they should have been trying Jesus. Let me go ahead and get into this story time before I get on Instagram live. Number one, it is not the first nor second time I've ordered my drink that says rich black woman on my cup. As a matter of fact, it says it on my app when I order my drinks, no matter where I. Okay, so right off the bat. When she orders her cup on the app, she puts in rich black woman. Right off the bat. That's totally normal. And no one should respect in, in seven, 18 and 19 year olds working at Starbucks. Shouldn't snicker or giggle about that, right, black woman? Baby, Starbucks tried me all the way today when they should have been trying Jesus. Let me go ahead and get into this story time before I get on Instagram Live. Number one, it is not the first nor second time I've ordered my drink that says rich black woman on my cup. As a matter of fact, it says it on my app when I order my drinks, no matter where I am, what Starbucks I go to. As you can see, this is rich black woman on my cup. And there's rich black woman in my app. This has been this way. If you know me for a minute, you know I've been saying rich black woman for the last okay god damn it we get it you're some chick that's not rich but your thing says rich black woman you're one fucking goddamn major surgery a fucking car accident or a fucking like a flood away from fucking begging for fucking money on gofundme we get it, man. You're a rich black woman. As few years. Here and there's a rich black woman in my app. This has been this way. If you know me for a minute, you know I've been saying rich black woman for the last few years. Here's where it gets wild. I'm already sitting in Starbucks on my laptop when I get there because my husband made me some tea before I left. So I'm minding my business. I order from the app. <laughs> so you rich and you got a husband. Salute, man. You out here balling all the way, man. Salute to you, man. Great. Humble bragging, man. You rich and you got a husband. You trying to make the other sisters mad, man. When I get there, because my husband made me some tea before I left. So I'm minding my business. I order from the app. They proceed to talk trash about me the entire time they are making my drink one girl of this complexion of course oh yeah because that's usually who's making fun of people in public decided to say rich black. if i said rich white i can't even wait to see who this is that comes in here to get this make sure i see who comes in here and gets this drink i'm sitting in uh, that's not necessarily talking trash. That's just like, if anything, they're talking trash about whoever that person might be, not about you at that point. At that point, they're not talking trash, and it's not about you. It's about the name on the cup and the double standard because if a white woman did that, she would be fired. Press one. If a white woman put rich white woman on her cup and some and some employees who look like this put it on the internet, that white woman would get fired. She'd lose everything. In front of her, I'm, I can't even wait to see who this is that comes in here to get this. Make sure I see who comes in here and gets this drink. I'm sitting in front of her. I'm the only customer inside the store ordering from my app. And so I let them finish making it. And then here comes the gentleman that makes it and puts it down and says, Rich. And I said, it's okay to say black woman. And you should have seen him freeze. But, but he didn't say, hold on. He didn't say rich black woman because... Y'all have white people paralyzed with fear, man. White people so uncomfortable talking to black people. They don't know what to say. 
They don't know what's going to set you off. They don't know what's going to cause you to like blow up. They don't know what's going to cause you to like ask for a hug. They don't know what's going to make you burst out the tears. They don't know what to say to you. So he did the right thing. He just said, Rich, and handed you your cup. And that was also a problem. Now do you get it, sister? He did the least offensive, safest thing he could do, and it still was a problem. At the store, ordering from my app. And so I let them finish making it. And then here comes the gentleman that makes it and puts it down and says, Rich. And I said, it's okay to say black woman, and you should have seen him freeze. Everybody froze. And here was what was disgusting to me. There was a black man working in the drive through and they are running their mouth about me in front of him. Mind you that. OK, well, here's the thing. Newsflash. These kids are probably no older than early 20s. They probably talk shit about every customer that does something noteworthy or that looks weird. Or that gives them attitude. Regardless of race. And it's not his job to protect you from getting clowned. By his white. Co-workers man. Or he's on a fucking drive through taking orders. He probably didn't even hear the shit. And even if he did hear the shit, who gives a fuck? Who gives a fuck? I hate you white people for making black people so narcissistic. This woman literally thinks she's the center of the fucking universe. Sit down and says rich. And I said, it's okay to say black woman. And you should have seen him freeze. Everybody froze. And here was what was disgusting to me. There was a black man working in the drive through and they are running their mouth about me in front of him. Mind you, there's a gentleman squatting down, refilling something, while this girl is steady running her mouth like she's going to do something when I get there. And I'm watching all of this, and I even have it on video. And so I proceed to get up and say, you can say, rich black woman, it's okay. And they all what? go... What? You did what? So they just said rich, went back to working, and you got up and said, you can say rich... Salute to Ray Raw, man. Yeah, she's a whole queen, man. She's a queen, man. Jesus Christ. Y'all are not just irritating. Y'all are like. Y'all are literally now. I like her though. She, 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 I wouldn't throw her out of bed now. Don't get me wrong, but y'all, y'all, she just annoying, man. God damn, woman, you're unbearable. You're unbearable, woman. You need a hobby, or you need maybe you got a husband, so. God damn, maybe you need another husband. Maybe you need to get some polyamorous shit. Get you a get you another husband. God damn, woman. You're unbearable. You are unbearable, shit. And they are running their mouth about me in front of him. Mind you, there's a gentleman squatting down, refilling something, while this girl is steady running her mouth like she's going to do something when I get there. And I'm watching all of this, and I even have it on video. And so I proceed to get up and say, you can say, rich black woman, it's okay. And they all go silent. And I said to them, you never know who is ordering from the app right in the store. And then he's going to say, oh, well, that's true. And everybody was silent for the next 90 minutes while I finished my work and drank my venti chai latte, extra hot, no oh, water. You didn't leave after that? You stayed in their presence? 
a normal person would have left. I'm not saying they'll ever come back. But a normal person would have dropped the mic and left. She dropped the mic and stayed there. <laughs> Y'all are so annoying, man. You ain't just drop the mic and leave. You might drop them. You told them, sister. Hold on. Let me do it. You told them, sister. And you should have just stepped out or went to upstairs to the seat in the area upstairs or went to the back. You went there and sat there right in front of them for like another hour and a half. It just made them real uncomfortable. And you enjoyed every minute of them being uncomfortable. You're weird, man. God, dog, you're weird, man. You're one strange human being, man, but you're actually normal. She's strange and normal at the same time. <laughs> She's strange in the whole world, but in Pakistan. They're made with vanilla sweet. And they all go silent. And I said to them, you never know who is ordering from the app right in the store. Oh, well, that's true. And everybody was silent for the next 90 minutes while I finished my work and drank my venti chai latte, extra hot, no water, made with vanilla sweet cream and a caramel drizzle. <laughs> See, this rich white woman behavior. I walked up to the young lady who was running her mouth so hard about two minutes after it was done. And I said, oh, my God, it isn't over yet. I thought this was the end of it. Plus, what if you thought that was the end of it? <laughs> I thought it was over. It's true. And everybody was silent for the next 90 minutes while I finished my work and drank my venti chai latte, extra hot, no water, made with vanilla sweet cream and a caramel drizzle. See, right there, it should have been over. You should have dropped it and you should have walked out and went to Panera and did finish your work at Panera. Or went to the library or some shit. Or finished the work in your car. Oh, yeah, you can't sit in your car because... Some goddamn black teens have come up and carjack you. But you could have gone like to the park with your lap. No, you can't go to the park with your laptop because some black teens have run up on you and robbed you. But you could have gone back home, man, to your husband and shit. And fucking worked in your study, right? You rich, right? Don't you got to study? You're supposed to drop the mic right there and walk out on them, man. The fact that you stayed for another hour and a half is cringy and weird. And then he's going to say, oh, well, that's true. And everybody was silent for the next 90 minutes while I finished my work and drank my venti chai latte, extra hot, no water, made with vanilla sweet cream and a caramel drizzle. <laughs> See, this rich white woman behavior. I walked up to the young lady who was running her mouth so hard about two minutes after it was done. And I said, is that your manager in the collared shirt? Okay. Uh, what? Huh? What? What? Is that your manager in the collar shirt? Oh, yeah. Okay. And I walked away and said nothing else. I asked that so that I can 100% confirm that the manager was participating in this behavior. Disgusting, Starbucks. Thank God I learned how to make my chai at home, huh? In this world, there are... Sh Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. You people are insufferable, man. Jesus Christ. You people are insufferable. <laughs> you people, too. Yeah, you people. Yeah. Oh. Damn, you people are, are fucking insufferable. I would say go back to Africa, but I like Africans, man. I don't want to do that to them, man. <laughs> I don't want to do that to them, man. I don't want to do that to the Africans, man. Salute to Ray Raw, man. 
He says, ADOS deserve to be rich. Yeah, man. It's your birthright, man. Every one of y'all should be rich, man. That wouldn't hurt the economy if every one of y'all was rich. You know? It makes perfect sense. Every single one of y'all should be rich. Y'all are insufferable. 